So yeah, just continuing on from the video for the last two bosses. So we are going upstairs now. So we should venture further and further up inside the manor. And see what lies for us up there. Just going to use Mindbender on our next pack just so I can get mana up. Give the tank a good old shield. Give me a shield. So yeah, when I put a shield on someone, as you can see, they get atonement, which is healed whenever the priest deals the damage to an enemy. Let's see, movement speed. So it seems you either go down into the catacombs or you go up. So it seems we're going down now, probably to Lady, Lady and Lord Waycrest. Let's quickly go down here. Just heal him because he's using Burning Rush. Just shield them all up and start doing damage. Infected Fawn, so that's something I got to dispel, but it doesn't deal as much damage, so I won't bother. Seems we've got to go over here. Matron Alama. Just going to use shield on the tank and use power wide radiance. Going to use rapture and then shield the tank just so he gets a big shield which is like undamageable. So that's kind of like your CD on the tanks kind of thing. Because disc is a, uh, is a like a mini like tank healer, shielder, whatever you want to call it. Best for, you know, healing up tanks and shielding them. Just going to shield this lot. And then use power to shields. And just use smite so they can oh, we'll get healed up. Just going to use a penance on him just so he doesn't die. And just spam smites. And purge them. Put shield on the tank. And there we go. I probably need to use mind bender soon. It's nearly back off cooldown. Let's come through here. So we're going back up now. The cell of the gallery. We've literally just came back from... Or do we come back up here? What is this designed for then? The cellar. So where do you go from... Aha. So we've literally just completely missed the exit. <laughs> so you go all the way down. So you just dot these guys up and shield everyone. And just penance while I'm moving. Just so everyone can get healed up. Just going to use Power Word Radiance and then use um, my Mind Bender just so I'm getting mana back. So since there's a lot been pulled, I'm just going to use my shield and then damage. Just so I can heal everyone up. Just gonna purge this guy. I'm gonna use Master Spell just because it looks like we got a um, poison. Use Master Spell. And since I shielded everyone, I can just use spam Holy Nova. Because Holy Nova is gonna deal big damage if like all the guys are stacked up. Because obviously it's AoE. So if I've shielded everyone and I'm spamming Holy Nova, it's gonna heal everyone up really, really quickly. So I'm just gonna use Penance on the tank just so he doesn't die. So as you can see, Lord and Lady Ravencrest, so they were in the in the cellar. So you just gotta quickly kill them. Use Power Word Radiance. And I'm just going to quickly try and eat before we pull. It is not ready yet. There we go, should be fine there. Oh look, husband, your supper has arrived. So it seems you have to go on him before she comes out, and she's kind of like the mini boss. Or maybe it's kind of like Scarlet Hold, because it seems he has not a lot of damage, where like he'll die, she'll come out. Ah, it's not, so... Whenever he gets low, she takes his um, health. So that's eventually how you probably kill her. So he just gets, yeah, he just gets stronger and stronger. So you probably just want to save your BL for like the last phase when he's at his most powerful. Just so you can dick him down. I'm just going to shield him. Pain suppression, rapture. So they're both out, so I'm going to use my shield on the tank and shield on everyone. And then I'm just going to use smite so everyone's getting atoned. Power word radiance, just so everyone's getting, you know, 
shielded, and is that the boss? I think so. So it seems the values are a bit off because, you know, these bosses are down really, really quickly, but yeah. So that's it for this boss. So it seems we go further deeper into this. Garok Tool. He looks like a Vicral, like a spirit Vicral. It's really, really cool. So I'm just going to shield everyone and then spam Holy Nova because Holy Nova is going to hit them hard. Just going to shield the tank, put down Mind Better just so I'm getting mana back. Powered Radiance. So I don't know if this is if this is water or if this is like if this is like is goo, ghost goo. I'm not sure what this could possibly be. Shield the tank. I'm just gonna burst them away just so we can. I need to get some mana back. I cannot use that item yet. Just shield the tank as we move. So literally, he's literally there, that boss. So it seems like a pretty small dungeon. So I'm going to use Skizium on him, whatever that spell's called. Just going to shield the tank, then deal big damage to this guy. Just because I know I'm dealing increased damage, which therefore means I'm going to deal increased healing. And if everyone's starting to take damage, I'll use my... Um, just going to reapply shield to the tank, just so he's getting healed. And if everyone starts to take damage, I'll use Radiance, then spam a few... Um, Spam a few smites. So I'm just going to use Radiance now, just so everyone's got atonement. And then start spamming smite again. It seems these potions might be clickable, so there might be a little, you know, hidden thing for it on Mythic. I'm going to use Schism again, and then Penance. So it's dealing really, really big damage. And I'll just, yeah, as you can see, the tank's getting healed for loads. Just use Mind Mender just so we're taking a lot of damage. Radiance, everyone. And I think that is the boss. It's a Waycrest mana. So. Nope, no bugs. So it seems e three people got an item, which is pretty, pretty good. But yeah, that's it for Waycrest mana. I'll be dun doing dungeons in the future. Maybe more as tank heal and DPS or whatever. But yeah, that's it for Waycrest Manor, and I'll be making videos in the future, so like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.